Top 6 Best PU Under $100 in 2023 Through extensive research and testing, I have put together the list of options that will meet the need of different types of buyers. So whether it's price, performance, or particular use, we have got you covered. For more information, I have put links of products in the description. Make sure to check it out. Like the video, comment, don't forget to subscribe, and let's get started. Number 6. Radian RX 6600 The Radian RX 6600 opens in new tab, takes everything good about the above 6650 XT, and then scales it back slightly. It's about 15% slower overall, just a bit behind the RTX 3060 as well, in non-RT gains. But in our testing, it was still 30% faster than the RTX 3050. Prices have crept back up to $250 right now, though we saw it going for just over $200 for the past couple of months, so hopefully pricing comes back down. It's still going for a lot less than AMD's official $329 MSRP, which felt somewhat high at launch. Not that we ever saw those prices in meaningful quantities until recent months, but with cards now shipping well below MSRP, this represents the second best overall bang for the buck right behind the RX 6650 XT. If you're not interested in the new round of extremely expensive GPUs from AMD and Nvidia and just want a decent mainstream solution, this is a great option. Months, so hopefully pricing comes back down. It's still going for a lot less than AMD's official $329 MSRP, which felt somewhat high at launch. Not that we ever saw those prices in meaningful quantities until recent months. But with cards now shipping well below MSRP, this represents the second best overall bang for the buck, right behind the RX 6650 XT. If you're not interested in the new round of extremely expensive GPUs from AMD and Nvidia and just want a decent mainstream solution, this is a great option. Number 5. Radeon RX 7900 XTX. The Red Team King is dead. Long live the Red Team King. AMD's Radeon RX 7900 XTX opens in new tab, has supplanted the previous generation RX 6950 XT opens in new tab, at the top of the charts, with a price bump to match. Ostensibly priced at $999, it sold out almost immediately, and now we need to wait for supply to catch up to demand. Still, there's good reason for the demand as the 7900 XTX comes packing AMD's latest RDNA 3 architecture opens in new tab. That gives the 7900 XTX a lot more potential compute, and you get 33% more memory as well. Compared to the 6950 XT, on average the new GPU is 32% faster in our rasterization test suite and 42% faster in ray tracing games and it delivers that performance boost without dramatically increasing power use or graphics card size. The second string RX 7900 XT falls behind by 15% as well, so saving $100 for the lesser 7900 doesn't make a lot of sense. 7900 XTX comes packing AMD's latest RDNA 3 architecture opens in new tab that gives the 7900 XTX a lot more potential compute and you get 33% more memory as well. Compared to the 6950 XT, on average the new GPU is 32% faster in our rasterization test suite and 42% faster in ray tracing games, and it delivers that performance boost without dramatically increasing power use or graphics card size. The second string RX 7900 XT falls behind by 15% as well. So saving $100 for the lesser 7900 doesn't make a lot of sense. Number 4. GeForce RTX 4090. For some, the best graphics card is the fastest card, pricing be damned. NVIDIA's GeForce RTX 4090 opens in new tab, caters to precisely this category of user. It's also the debut of NVIDIA's brand new Ada Lovelace architecture opens in new tab and as such will represent the most potent card NVIDIA has to offer, at least until the inevitable RTX 4090T opens in new tab, shows up. If you were disappointed that the RTX 3090T opens in new tab, was only moderately faster, tilled 30%, than an RTX 3080 in most workloads, RTX 4090 will have something more to offer. 
Across our standard suite of gaming benchmarks, it was 55% faster than the 3090 Ti on average. Fire up a game with heavy ray tracing effects, and that lead grows to 78%. AMD's new RX 7900 XTX opens in new tab. Can't touch it either, as the 4090 is 25% faster in traditional rasterization games and just over double the performance in ray tracing games, though it also costs about twice as much that the RTX 3090T opens in new tab. Was only moderately faster, tilled 30%, than an RTX 3080 in most workloads. RTX 4090 will have something more to offer. Across number 3. Radeon RX 6650 XT. AMD's mainstream GPUs at present use the Navi 23 architecture. Normally, we'd expect a 32CU variant of Navi 22, dubbed the RX 6700 non-XT, but AMD trimmed CU counts, memory interface width, and Infinity CAX sizes to get a smaller and less expensive chip that still performs well. Note that the Radeon RX 6700 opens in new tab. Now exists, with 10GB of VRAM, though it costs more and only delivers a minor bump in performance. The RX 6650 XT opens in new tab, is a refresh and replacement for the existing RX 6600 XT opens in new tab, offering slightly more performance at basically the same price. Performance ends up slightly above the previous gen RX 5700 XT opens in new tab, which is impressive considering the memory bus has been cut in half to just 128 bits. There's understandable concern with the 8 gigabytes of VRAM, However, and there are certainly cases where the RTX 3060 ends up as the better choice. RX 6700 opens in new tab. Now exists, with 10 gigabytes of VRAM, though it costs more and only delivers a minor bump in performance. The RX 6650 XT opens in new tab, is a refresh and replacement for the existing RX 6600 XT opens in new tab, offering slightly more performance at basically the same price. Performance ends up slightly above the previous Gen RX 5700 XT opens in new tab, which is impressive considering the memory bus has been cut in half to just 128 bits. There's understandable concern with the 8 gigabytes of VRAM, however, and there are certainly cases where the RTX 3060 ends up as the better choice. Number 2. Radeon RX 7900 XT. With prices heading up on previous generation cards, we're left looking for the best options. AMD's new RX 7900 XT opens in new tab, generally beats the RTX 4070T opens in new tab, above, in rasterization performance, but trails by quite a bit in ray tracing games. Never mind the extra $100. We would have liked to see closer to price parity from AMD, and maybe that will still happen, but at least you get all the latest AMD RDNA 3 architectural updates. AMD also doesn't skimp on VRAM, providing you with 20 gigabytes. That's 67% more than the competing 4070 Ti, and right now street prices are basically the same. Another potential bonus is that there weren't any vapor chamber cooling problems on the reference 7900 XT cards, unlike its bigger sibling, so you can safely pick one of those up and not worry about a potential RMA delay. You won't get DLSS support. And while it's possible to run i workloads on AMD's GPUs, performance tends to be substantially slower. Number 1. GeForce RTX 4070 Ti. We're in the midst of a transition between old and new generation GPUs, and it leads to some tough decisions. The new RTX 4070 Ti opens in new tab. Didn't wow us with extreme performance or value but it's still 10 to 15% faster than the previous generation RTX 3080 opens in new tab. Comes with the latest Ada Lovelace architecture and features, and only costs about 20% more than the cheapest 3080, a Pelad model, with many of the 3080 cards now priced higher than the 4070 Ti. It's not going to win anyone over to NVIDIA's way of thinking, where it charges the absolute maximum it feels it can get away with. This is basically half of an RTX 4090, for half the price. The previous generation 3070, Ty was more like 65% of the RTX 3090, at 40% of the price. Ah, how we miss the good old days, 
and only costs about 20% more than the cheapest 3080, a Pellad model, with many of the 3080 cards now priced higher than the 4070 Ti. It's not going to win anyone over to NVIDIA's way of thinking, where it charges the absolute maximum it feels it can get away with. This is basically half of an RTX 4090, for half the price. The previous generation 3070, Ty was more like 65% of the RTX 3090, at 40% of the price. Ah, how we missed the good old days. So guys, that's all for the top 6 best pew under $100 in 2023. The links of all products are given in the description, which are updated for the best prices. Subscribe our channel for more videos, we will meet in next video, till then take care bye.